Ugh, amazing! This is Surba Subserba TV. In our last video, we discovered what are eclipses. We also discussed how solar eclipse occurs. In this video, we are going to explore how lunar eclipse occurs. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag Aghamazing. Let's go! You already know that solar eclipse occurs during the new moon and it happens during the day. The moon is located in between the sun and earth and the moon blocks the light of the sun to the earth. The moon does not make its own light. Rather, the sun shines on the moon and the reflected sunlight makes the moon visible from earth. During a lunar eclipse, the earth is positioned between the sun and the moon. The earth blocks the light coming from the sun to the moon. In this case, the earth's shadow falls on the moon. A lunar eclipse occurs during the full moon and it can be observed during nighttime. Unlike solar eclipse which only lasts for a few minutes, a lunar eclipse can last for a few hours. Moreover, unlike solar eclipse where it can be only observed from a relatively small area of Earth, the lunar eclipse is visible anywhere on the night side of the Earth. The type of lunar eclipse that can be observed depends on the position of the Moon on the shadow of the Earth. The three types of lunar eclipse are total lunar eclipse, penumbral lunar eclipse, and partial lunar eclipse. As mentioned in our previous videos, shadows are not totally dark. The darker inner region of a shadow is called the umbra, and the gray outer region is called the penumbra. When the moon is located within the umbra of the Earth's shadow, a total lunar eclipse occurs. It happens when the moon and the sun are on exact opposite sides of the Earth. In this case, the moon will look totally dark. Although the Earth blocks the light coming from the Sun, some sunlight still reaches the Moon. During the total lunar eclipse, the Moon can turn into a reddish color. This happens because as the light coming from the Sun enters the Earth's atmosphere, the blue light and other colors are filtered out. Only the red color enters the atmosphere and refracted on the Moon. When the moon travels on the penumbra of the Earth's shadow, a penumbral eclipse happens. This type of eclipse is quite hard to spot unlike a total eclipse which can turn the entire moon red. Keen observer will see a dark shadowing of the moon's face during penumbral lunar eclipse. On the other hand, when part of the moon is located on the penumbra, and another part is located on the umbra of the Earth's shadow, a partial lunar eclipse occurs. Only a part of the Earth's shadow covers the moon. In this case, only a part of the moon appears to be dark, while the rest will be lighter. Unlike a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse can be observed directly using your naked eye. They are safe to observe without using any special devices. Knowing about eclipses is very important. Using our knowledge about eclipses, we can explain how and why this phenomena occur. We can correct some misconceptions and superstitions about eclipses. By observing the Earth's shadow on the moon during an eclipse, people who lived 100 years ago discovered that the Earth is round. Scientists study eclipses to further understand the Earth, the moon, and the sun. And that ends our discussion about eclipses. See you on our next science lesson. Ugh, amazing!